we are going to see how to add a suspended ceiling, a slope formation and roof tiles to our building. We'll start with suspended ceiling. In the construction elements group, we find tools for drawing the architecture of a building. One of these tools is suspended ceiling, which can be found by expanding the horizontal elements menu. In the pop-up window, we add the reference of the suspended ceiling and if desired, a typology with which we can group elements with the same properties. In properties, we can add a description or load the tags we have previously created. We choose the type of suspended ceiling, which can be either continuous suspended ceiling or removable suspended ceiling. In properties, we can also define the panels of the suspended ceiling. In the same way as other SIPE architecture elements, we can assign a colour to the suspended ceiling from those already defined in the colour group in the architecture tab. Once the options have been set, on the view of our choice, we mark the perimeter of the surface the suspended ceiling will occupy. We can insert a suspended ceiling both in floor and 3D view. Now we'll create the slope formation for our roof in SIP Architecture. The slope formation tool can be found in the construction elements group by expanding the roofs menu. In the pop-up window, we add a reference, a label which allows us to group elements with the same properties, and if necessary, assign a level by marking the corresponding box. In properties, we indicate the elevation difference and the height of the drain. We complete the insertion of the slope formation in the model by marking the surface it will occupy. Now we will see how to insert roof tiles. In the construction elements group, in the roof section, we click on roof tiles. In the pop-up window, we add the reference that will identify them. We can also assign them a label in case we need to group elements with the same properties. Additionally, to assign the roof tiles to a certain level, we will mark the corresponding option. SIP Architecture also allows us to assign a colour to the roof tiles among the previously defined colours in the Colours group in the Architecture tab. After completing the features of the roof tiles, we insert them into the model by marking the surface that they will occupy and selecting from the lowest to the highest point. Lastly, we activate the Show Hide Tiles tool, located in the Layers group, to visualise the roof tiles we have just added.